Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we're having a Christmassy mod special, as you may have been able to tell from today's date of course, uh, the festive looking spacesuits these guys are wearing, and of course the planet Kerbal in the background, which appears to be in an ice age. But yes, for today's mod spotlight, we are going to be having a gander at Winter Kerbal, which is being made by forum user Grey Grox Moon, which looks to add into the game a lovely selection of Christmassy slash wintry sort of things all around the solar system. Now, of course, it started out as just a Ice Age-like Kerbal with the entire planet covered in snow, uh, but other things were added, which... First, before we look at those, though, I do have to point out the one bad thing about this mod. As you saw from when we were on the main menu and up in orbit... The planet looks gorgeous, covered in snow from orbit. When you're on the ground, though, here at the Kerbal Space Center, you just kind of get this washed out, not so great of snow, because, of course, this is where the textures change towards the sea. So we just kind of look like we got a light snow that got really dirty. And, of course, all the Kerbal Space Center buildings still have their independent grass from their individual building models, which I, I would have to imagine is sort of difficult to uh, replace. And then, of course, if we turn this way, we just have a blinding sea of white. If we actually grab a plane real quick, just to sort of fly over that uh, sort of sea of white, you'll notice that when you're on the planet's surface, or pretty close to the planet's surface, in the case, of course, of flying a plane, yeah, it's basically just all white. Now, when you're close to the ground and you have a shadow being cast over the textures, you can actually see the texturing that is going on there. Uh, but without that shadow, or if you're above ground even ever so slightly, it is literally just a blinding sea of white. Uh, but does start to look better the higher and higher you go. Though that being said, you have to get pretty darn high before you start to actually see variations. Which is why I, this mod really does seem to be for when you're in orbit. You're not going to be wanting to build snowy bases like over in the mountains or anything like that. Because, well, just look at it guys. It's just, it's just white. <laughs> that is the only color. Oh, the gamma corrections on this video are going to be interesting. But yes, that is all we can see, and it actually makes it really hard to fly this plane, because I have no idea what the ground is. But yes, this is what you see when close to the ground. Just nothing but white. But if we go back to the Space Center, yes, leave anyways, I don't care about you. And of course, go to orbit, you will notice that, just like back in the menu, it's gorgeous. I mean, we don't even really need to go to orbit. We can just sit here. I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's just this great ice-aged sort of snow-covered planet, and it's very, very cool, and I absolutely love the look of it. It's just when you're on the planet's surface, it's kind of scary and blinding. But yes, if we check out our Winter 1 capsule that we have here in orbit, you can see it from uh, that angle, and still looks pretty darn good, though we're mainly over an ocean. You can see the differences in the terrain, and it just looks like a beautiful snow-covered planet. It is quite cool. Now, if we head back to the Space Center and go back to the tracking station, we'll go take a look at the next thing that changed in this mod. Now, of course, the name being Winter Kerbal, this was really the first step in this mod. But they began adding additional things. For instance, if we go to Winter 2, which is around Jewel. <laughs> Jewel is now Christmas holiday colors. Or, you know, Italian flag colors. But we're going to go with the Christmas colors of red, green, and white. And if we go and fly this mission, you'll just see this just beautifully, beautifully recolored jewel. I actually really love the colors of this. I actually kind of like it more than the standard jewel. It's just beautiful. You get these wonderful changes and the swirling around within these colors. It is pretty awesome. So yeah, if you're looking for a Christmassy jewel mission, here you go. And actually, now that I'm looking at this, I would love a Christmas ornament that looked like this. That would be just 
gorgeous. But yes, that's really it for Jewel. It's just been recolored to look, well, more Christmassy. So back to the Space Center and the tracking station we go for the final planetary change in the solar system, where if we jump into the tracking station again and go to Elo. Now, of course, Elo is already a giant ball of ice, so nothing needed to change there. But if we jump in to fly our uh, little lander there, you'll notice something that has been added to the world of Elo. And that, come on, wait for it to load. Load. It's taking quite a while to load there, folks. Okay, that took a lot longer to load than normal, and that may very well be because of all the new trees on ELO. Yes, now on this tiny little ball of ice at the end of the universe, we have a giant pine forest. It's confusing, but you know what? I actually really like it. Even though it makes no sense whatsoever, it just looks good gorgeous and so yes that is what this mod does add to the planet of elo and the last thing we want to have a look at here is well those lovely new spacesuits that you saw at the beginning of the episode when we were in the main menu now if we get these two kerbals out to uh wander about the ship you'll notice oop oh god oh god cl uh climb there we go <laughs> and climb out there oh god nope oh. There we are, excellent. Little bit finicky as always with controlling Kerbals, but there we go, we have one Kerbal out of the ship. Let's get the other out, and up he goes. And you'll notice they're in lovingly created, festive colored green and red spacesuits. I just love it. We have the red Santa suit here and the green elf spacesuit here which just make me happy. And look at their great smiles. They're happy to be all wintry and Christmassy as well, because it's just cool looking. I mean, who wouldn't want some festive spacesuits? Question mark? <laughs> Maybe in the Kerbal world, it's like the ugly sweater you wear to the office for the Christmas party. But for them... It's the oddly colored spacesuit. And yes, you can control what your Kerbals are wearing in this, because it is using, of course, Texture Replacer to actually uh, make this happen. So if we head back to the Space Center yet again, you can see up in the top right-hand corner, if we wait a moment, there we go. Ooh. There's some lighting for you. But yes, we have the lovely little uh, bearded face up here in the corner that we can click for Texture Replacer and click on any Kerbal and switch them between the various suits. Of course, this one currently on Santa, and we can switch them over to the Elf suit. And yeah, you can do that for every one of your Kerbals or set it of by profession, etc. But that's all for Texture Replacer. And yeah, that... That is really it, folks. That is the wonderful Winter Kerbal mod to add an extra bit of the holiday season into your Kerbal Space Program game. So, yeah. I hope you have enjoyed this episode and that you do, of course, go and check out this mod for yourself. All you need to do is follow the link in the description as always. And I do hope you have enjoyed today and that, you, of course, you do come back for the next episode where we will be looking at yet another wonderful Kerbal Space Program mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one.